one shot for for one here and uh today i'll be doing a little commentary i know i don't do these a lot, a lot of these commentaries a lot it's mostly because when i do them they kind of end up bad and i'm kind of i don't really have much to say so this time i try to do a little better make it look more appealing and have some more facts so i can talk about stuff so it's basically between battlefield one and call of duty's new infinity warfare now some of the things i saw that was released that have been confirmed so far in the battlefield one is the melee weapons are a spike a spike mace a trench spade a buffalo knife a J B a dagger a schmitar and a bayonet so those are all the melee weapons you can use i'm personally probably wanting to see the trench blade trench spade and the schmitar as for the bolo knife and the jab, the jab and dagger, you can get both of those in pre uh, DLCs uh, pack in the deluxe edition. So we'll see about that. Firearms that have been confirmed as well: the trench shotgun, the Colt M1 911, so semi-automatic pistol for all you pistol lovers out there. The Lee Enfield SML bolt action rifle, which I'm more of a fan of bolt action rifles since World of War when I back when I played. I think it was the Moth Knot. I know I'm saying that name wrong, but that was one of my favorite rifles to go around and kill people with because it was a fun gun and it was, it felt so good to get a kill with it. Like, I know everyone can understand what I'm saying. Um, the P09 Luger pistol, which the Luger has always been my favorite and probably the second favorite pistol next to the Deagle or the Desert Eagle for any of you who don't know or play uh, CSGO. The Mazer C96 semi-automatic pistol, another automatic pistol for all the pistol lovers out there. Um, the MG08 machine gun mounted and loadout weapon. So basically, you can mount this um, onto a vehicle, I believe, and uh, or you can run around with it um, separately without having to do that. A Mauser 1918T Guard anti-tank rifle. So basically an anti-armor rifle which will stop tanks or any vehicles coming your way so you don't have to worry and basically try to balance out the game. Um, the Mauser M, the Mauser, Viewer 98 bolt action rifle with side mount scope. Now this is a German made rifle which was one of my two favorite weapons next to the MP40. Mostly because this was a reliable weapon back during um, World of War era. Or not World of War, I mean back in World of War of the game. And I kind of liked it a lot. It was one of my favorite weapons back then. And um, what else have we added? Springfield M1 903 boat action rifle. Another boat action rifle, which is... The Springfield is pretty good boat action rifle. If you, know, if you have a bit of aim and uh, talent for boat action rifles and long range weaponry. This also comes with a side mount scope, so I'm guessing what it means with that is that you can switch between t two scopes, or um, you can zoom in, zoom in and zoom out, which uh, I believe the second of the two, where you could zoom out, because I don't really think, unless they'd add the side attachment thing. MP18 SMG, for all you SMG lovers out there, this is a submachine gun for you. A Lewis gun LMG. I don't really know what that is um but it's probably beast oh uh, a life buoy m1 flamethrower now flamethrowers haven't been an fps game i played since war to war and um i mean really i've liked the flamethrower since um <laughs> zombies uh, though zombies when it got higher in the rounds it was not really good for you to use it but it was still fun to, just for the lows and multiplayer was a little, um, pretty good so long as no one knew you were around the corner or you had a group coming and you got it off first way before they got you point blank range with the sub or a shotgun. Which I kind of got shotgunned a lot even though, but I ain't complaining. Gadgets and explosives added to the game. Anti-tank grenade, so you can just attach this motherfucker to the back of a tank and run like a little bitch. It actually kind of sounds what I do, cause I mean, you see a lot of people in tanks, so. A smoke grenade, a mustard gas grenade, and a gas mask. Now, I'm guessing the gas mask was added to counteract the mustard gas grenade, because they don't, probably don't know how many people are going to run it, because it is a biological weapon, so basically it's like tear gas, because it fucks with your, um, I want to say immune system. I don't know too much about mustard gas. I know it gives you boils and all that, but um, 
I'm guessing that's just to counteract that grenade. And they're adding dynamite to the game, which I really haven't played an FPS that has had dynamite in a long time or have ever. I can't really think of a game that's had dynamite into an FPS place game. Like, I, I really can't wait to see how that turns out. And I'm pretty sure that's not the only grenade they have so far. Pretty sure they're adding a few other things. I'm pretty sure they have the uh, the stick grenade as well for the German side. Because I like that grenade because it's kind of funny when you throw it at somebody and you nail somebody in the face. It's just so nice. So that's all the things added for uh, Battle for One. Some of the things, they haven't really said anything was released for Infinity Warfare. But so far what we know is that there's probably going to be some form of boost or... Something like that along the lines because you do take place in uh, the. I'm sorry, I butchered that line. Uh, this is taking place in space, so there's some form of boost, or you're probably weightless, come to think of it, and you would just have like little jet boosters to push you around and help you out a bit. So it basically it's the same thing as uh, Black Ops 3, probably, but just not as bad, I want to say, but more likely. Uh, they probably added a few new guns, more skins. Supply drops will likely be in the game. For all you of hoping if supply drops were uh, not going to be added into the game. Yeah, sorry. They, they're never going to take that out now. that It's in there and it's done. Just, we're going to have that in there forever. And I'm fine with supply drops, honestly. Because there's, um... Some people who don't play Call of Duty a lot and they want to get stuff fast. And they just want to play it for fun. And that's one way they can do it. Because no matter what you do... You do there's no way you're gonna stop them from putting that in the game and making their money because they'll find a way no matter what now would I choose between Infinity Warfare or Battlefield 1 <clears throat> I'd have to say Battlefield 1 only because I am a COD player to the end but I've burnt myself out playing all the other CODs basically Battlefield, Modern Warfare, Battlefield 2, Modern Warfare 2 and 3 were my favorites out of the series oh. And I did like COD 4, the first one, Modern Warfare. And um, I'd play that again. But the thing is, I don't like Affinity Warfare did, is they added that game to it. And I understand they want to go back and make more money and bring some attention back to these games. But the fact that you're adding this so early in makes me think you have no faith in your own game that it will sell and will do good because of all the negative publicity. Now, do I think Battlefield's going to outsell it? No. Could it get close? Sure. Will Call of Duty still hold standards? Probably. It will still do well in the sales because a lot of people is going to buy it. But there's nothing to stop them from not making money on this. So they, they're they probably going to continue doing well no matter what. <coughs> so I'm going to personally probably buy Battlefield 1 because it's going in the trench era. And I want to play Battlefield games more and see how that goes. So hope you all like and enjoyed my video. And my little rants here. Hope you all take care. Peace.